What is up everybody? It is your boy Nick Noodles coming at you with another great video. Today we are finally talking about Supreme again. It's been a little bit dead the past few weeks so I really haven't been making that much Supreme content. However, it looks like we're going to start getting some more banger items coming up in the season. And in today's video, I want to talk all about this new box logo Rocky that's coming slash. out that was announced with the opening of the new store in Milan. We're going to be talking about what I think about the shirt, how you can cop it, my resale predictions, and whether this new store in Milan is really going to affect anything Supreme related, especially with how stuff has been reselling lately. So let's break it all down. Let's get started with this video. If you're not already, definitely subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this and follow my Instagram at NickNoodlesYT. I think you all will enjoy some of the content on there if you do enjoy my channel. So let's go ahead and talk about this box logo. So if you don't know, this design, the Last Supper design, has been used by Supreme in the past, mainly on a skate deck. Now, I don't know when this set came out, but I know it was definitely more than 10 or 15 years ago. That's also been on a sticker and I think even on a hoodie. So this is definitely a very sought after Supreme design. Um, I don't even know how much the skate decks go for. I'm pretty sure that whole set goes for at least a couple thousand dollars. And this is honestly one of the best box logos we've gotten in the past year, I think. Um, I think a lot of people would agree this is way better than the cross box logo. It's way better than the long sleeve box logo tees we got last fall winter. And um, I would say it's up there with the COVID box logo. I personally think it's a little bit better. And but that's just my opinion. Let me know what you all think. Now, this is going to be an incredibly hard shirt to cop mainly because it's only in one colorway, so it's going to be pretty limited, and we also don't know how it's going to be releasing, so let's go ahead and break down how to cop this t-shirt. Again, I don't know all the details. Drops by Jay hasn't leaked any news about the release other than that it is releasing in store with the opening of the new store in Milan, but we're going to talk about every way that this could release and how you can maximize your chances of copying. So, Obviously, the first and easiest way to get this shirt is if you live in Milan or live close to it in Italy, I would sign up for in-store and just try to go and get it because that's going to be your best bet. It's the only confirmed way that the shirt is releasing. The next way is going to be through an online release, and this is where there's a lot of gray area. We have no idea if it's only going to release in EU or if it's going to release across all the different sites across the world. There's no way of telling, so it's best to just be prepared for that random moment where they could drop it. Now, in the past, when the San Francisco store opened, um, the following Monday after that opening, they randomly released it on the website. And unless you had a restock monitor or you were in a cook group, you literally wouldn't have known that it dropped. And that kind of sucked because I believe it sat on the site for a few minutes. You were definitely able to hit it manually, and I'm sure a lot of people did. So if I were you, I would one, set up a restock monitor for this t-shirt. You can do it if you're in a cook group. There will definitely be some type of Supreme monitor or even like a custom monitor you can set up with custom keywords. If you're not in a cook group, I believe the Supreme Community app still has a free restock monitor that you can set up with keywords. However, I do think that that is going to be a little bit slower and probably a little bit less reliable. But if that's all you have, then it doesn't hurt to set that up. And I would also highly recommend following Drops by Jay because he's definitely the number one source for this type of information. Now, all of this stuff is really helpful if Supreme is planning on dropping this tea randomly online. Now, if we find out later this week that it's going to be a set release, let's say, you know, Thursday at the regular time or maybe Monday at a certain time, um, you're going to want a bot for this release. I think it's going to be impossible to manual if it releases at a specific time, especially if we look at the COVID box logo sellout times. Um, it was pretty much impossible. I don't know how I got a medium off that release. I think that that was the only size that you were able to manual, and that still sold out in seven seconds. Again, I, I really have no idea how I got that t-shirt. This shirt is going to be incredibly hard to manual off the site, mainly because there's only one colorway, and likely because the stock is going to be super low. So I would highly recommend, if you really want this shirt, to rent Mech Prime. Um, you could also try Swift Soul if you have it, or maybe rent out Velox or F3 because those will be cheaper. But I do think that Mech has the best chance of hitting this release if it is online. I think that this will be very similar to the COVID box logo release again if they do release this online. I don't think this is going to be like the Nike Dunk release where they added that extra add to cart button. And even if they do add that, then, you know, bot developers know <laughs> to look out for that. So again, I would definitely bank on using a bot if there is a set release date for this t-shirt. Let's talk about resale predictions. So 
Obviously, Supreme Resale is in the gutter right now, and I don't think anything is really going to change with this t-shirt. Now, it all depends on stock numbers. So if this t-shirt is only an in-store release, then the resale is going to be very, very high because there's going to be a lot of demand for the people that couldn't go to the Milan store and get it. So I think that if it's an in-store only release, these tees could definitely be, you know, $500 plus day one and going into the future. Um, some sizes could even be like seven or $800 plus like small and XL. I would not be surprised if they had that much demand on day one. If there is an online release and stock is pretty healthy, like the COVID box logo, they'll be around a 300 to $400 price range. And I would either sell immediately or plan on holding this thing for years. If we look at the COVID box logo, it had very high resale value, like 700s, maybe up to a thousand dollars day one. And it's only been on the decline since then mainly because everyone that bought it was holding it and no one was there wasn't really a lot of demand for it um, because who wants to spend that much money on a box logo t-shirt so yeah i would highly recommend selling it day one or be prepared to hold that thing for a few years down the line now does this new store in milan change anything about how supreme has been reselling is it going to completely just brick the market I don't really think so. I don't. I think there's a chance that it could maybe affect EU sales, uh, but I don't think it's really going to affect the U.S. that much. The new store in San Francisco really didn't change anything. Now, Supreme Resale does have a lot to do with supply. We can see that from the denim items from last week. Those things are going for a crazy amount of money, and it's because they didn't have that much stock and they sold out instantly. And so resale value going forward, I kind of touched on it in this video. It really just depends on how much stock Supreme decides to release for each week. We've kind of seen trends where the more hyped items like box logos and the North Face collaborations, they've been getting increased stock to meet the demand. However, we have seen releases where the stock is super limited and it is reflective in the resale value, mainly the Supreme Dunks and again, those denim items from last week. So yeah, I don't think that this is going to affect U.S. sales that much. However, it could definitely affect EU sales, um, being that there is more stock going to be available in Europe. So yeah, that pretty much wraps up this video. I hope you all got some good information out of it. Let me know if y'all would pay resell for this box logo. I definitely wouldn't, um, but I think I would keep it for the personal collection if I can get one for retail. Um, but yeah, definitely follow me on Instagram, and I will see you on the next video.